Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. Today I'll be showing off a little character that I don't know if you've seen before, but this guy, he's pretty un he's pretty underrated. He's kind of a difficult character. He has a pretty hard start. You, you kind of you got you've got to make your way in. He's got some really, really crazy good sprite work as well. So we're gonna jump in, we're gonna play this in Belson. And he is he is, as you can see, quite weak. He doesn't really start with much. So we're gonna have a little bit of a hard time progressing with this guy, but we're gonna give it a go, um, and we'll we'll try it out. We've actually got a new item from the Apocry. I can never pronounce this mod's name, but we'll see how this works. On use, take um, a bomb and load it into the cannon. Once loaded, the bomb gains damage uh, as its fuse bears down. Using the item again, we'll fire the bomb facing out in the direction. Okay, but yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just see how it goes, I guess. We'll just see how it goes. Okay, ooh, that's a that's a big bomb, but. It's going to be a little difficult to, um, to to play this character, and we're just going to have to see how it goes, really, because as you can see right now, we're having a little bit of trouble getting from room to room. Um, and obviously, as you can see as well, the sprite work on this character is um, particularly amazing. I think um, I think this is giving Andro Andromeda quite, quite a run for its money, actually. I do think the Andromeda devs are going to have to really step up their game in the next update, because this guy, this little fella really takes the cake. He's really, really showing them up, I think, actually. I don't really think they have much of a chance standing against little Lord Belson here. It is Belson, right? I can go to the wiki page and uh, and read you off the wonderful description of this character. So this is Belson. And do you ever just Belson? Well, I sure do. Download Belson today. Yes, this is a threat now. <laughs> That's the description. That's all you get. Also, we started with a few extra consumables here and there. You might see that we started with a few extra consumables just to just to get us through. We'll see how that we'll see how that goes. Um, we can grab a few things here and there. We can grab ourselves a, a dream catcher. That'd be quite nice, actually. Um, we could grab grab ourselves Pandora's box as well. I guess that could be pretty useful. Let's let's grab ourselves Pandora's box. Why not? We'll see how that goes. Because that, that'll work nicely with Dreamcatcher. We do have a few bombs that we can try and use here as well. We'll see if there's a secret room here. Indeed, there is. Very nice. And then, actually, we've got quite a few bombs to work with these mushrooms here. It's, it's a shame that more characters don't start with this many. Um... we got this. Uh, rocks are randomly replaced with pots. Ooh, nice. Um, yeah, it's a shame that more characters don't start with more bombs. It's, it's, it's weird that the game kind of limits you in that way, to be honest. It really is. That's not our second secret room, actually. Hmm. Got to find the second secret room real quick. What? It's not our second secret room either? I mean, we have a few bombs here to work with, so... There you go. Both in the same room. Very nice. Whoa! Okay. We got our keys back, just in case we needed our keys back. And we have 69 pennies as well, so... Pretty powerful character with 69 pennies. Right, let's keep it going. I don't know what floor I want to use Pandora's box on, but I'll keep it just on me for now. Explosive diarrhea. We'll make our way down. Probably should have gone alt path, actually. This guy, he is he is quite weak, so I was kind of maybe thinking he wouldn't really be able to quite hack it on the uh, the harder floors. So that's kind of why I didn't go there to start with, but I guess we could make our way over there. I'll grab ourselves a, a few familiars. Ooh, we got the test tube. Nice. I like the test tube. We get a mini Isaac with us. You know what? Let's just pop this now, then. Not a great floor to pop it on, but I want the test tube with me. Daddy long legs, nice. This thing's giving us a lot of familiars. The cube, edgeless cube battery as well. Rather nice few things we got there. I like it. And what item do we have to start us off? Um, shots which apply status effects pierce uh, the first target and deal double damage. Interesting. I don't think we have many status effects going on right now, but I'm sure we'll get some later on. God damn, it's 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 crazy how how difficult of a time we're having with, with old bells in here. Hey, hide. Wait. Oh, that must be because of the trinket that I've got. Let me just check that. Um. Um. Spider boosting items. Yeah. Cool. Got hive mind. Nice. I like it. There is um. There is a sewing machine in there, but it's kind of behind another machine, so it's a little hard to get to. We'll grab this real quick. I think we'll grab this as well. Why not? 
We should probably grab this too, once we can afford it. In fact, let's just bomb this guy and see if we can. Lovely, there you go. And we can just get into a lot of curse rooms for free here. And I like that quite a lot. Let's go in. Now that we have some health backing us up. I did unfortunately use my uh, thingy by accident there. My holy mantle. That's just how it goes sometimes though. But yeah, as a, as a fan of making the game harder, this character really speaks to me. I think they've, they've done a very good job of balancing this guy. I think we're okay for any of this, to be honest. I mean, the shovel's actually pretty good now. Maybe I should have taken that. But we'll leave it for now. We'll go treasure room here. I'm okay to blow up that. And we get spider babby. I like spider babby. We've, we've got the spider baby transformation already. Nice. What's that with? Hive mind, spider baby, and something else? I don't know what the other thing is. Grab that chest. We'll do our boss early here just to see. There you go. Ooh, we got perfection. That's rather nice. We'll grab that for now. Oh, it doesn't actually... Okay, wait. One second, one second. Um, this character does start with a little bit of extra luck. Looking at it now, I didn't actually realize this guy has some extra stats. So we don't really need perfection, really. Perfection would be a nice addition, but I think we can deal without it and be mostly fine. I'll be honest. Uh, starting with just 100 luck. It's a little low. I'd like a little bit more, but I think I think for now we can go without perfection and be reasonably happy. I hope you guys agree. Hopefully that that's not going to be a mistake that haunts me, I guess. We're having Hive Mind here. Just some spiders that do 80-something damage. It's, it's quite nice. I like the fact that the spider baby just gives us, us like a single spider. So useful. Let's see what we got going on in here. We do have the ability to upgrade. Um, taking damage releases a damage in shockwave around you. Enemies hit by the shockwave uh, will echo smaller shockwaves. That sounds kind of interesting. Okay, there you go. This could be secret rooms. So let's check it out. Nice. It is. It is. Unfortunately, not anything we want there. We will crack this open with our holy mantle here. And we'll keep on pushing forward. Secret room here as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we are doing well right now. We are doing really well. We have run out of money, but I think that's okay. Let's try and head down to the next floor. This is kind of uh, a little bit of a speed run here. Despite the difficulty of this character, I think we're... Um, we're speeding through a, a quite quite an impressive rate, really. Quite an impressive rate. We could just full-on speedrun and go to the boss, but I do want to get my items. I think we could do some good with the items. Someone's a statue of your character attracting enemies to it. That's not my character. Ooh, a bit of extra herming would be really nice, despite having a uh, godhead here. Okay. I kind of want to get hit and see what the shockwave does. Ooh, interesting. Okay. It's not... I thought it'd be like a stone shockwave. It's not really what I expected. I love us having this big boy flying around us right now. Soul of the Keeper. Nice amount of money for us. Okay, just push through there. Unfortunately, a lot of shots there that I can't get through. Okay, there you go. Ah, some underground enemies. They're a little trickier for us. Can't qu kill them quite as quickly. Right, double care room again. Just eat all, eat all the hearts up. Eat them up. Come on, eat it. Get the heart in the thing. It's not even going to eat this heart. It's going to run out of time. Okay, it got it, it got it, it got it. Hey! Status effect, that's going to work with our uranium. Nine lives is pretty good here. I'll take that. Feeling pretty good about our HP now as well. That is one thing about this character. He does start with really low HP, so that is part of the uh, the difficult challenge with this guy. You do have a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a hard, hard time in the early game that you've got to kind of worry about. It's not too bad, but yeah, you still you still gotta you've got to worry about it a little bit. Let's keep moving forward. Grab 
grab a few of these. Thank you, thank you. Hey, some extra luck up. That's going to help a bunch. Nice. I don't know if their common cold scales off of luck, but I kind of hope it does. That extra luck upgrade will help us a lot if it does. Right, what we got in here? Champion belt. Ooh, we do need a bit of a damage up. That, that, that is certainly something we need. Okay, that's just been a nice little 14 damage up. Um, so this guy does start with a few multipliers, it seems. Just, just a few. Not a lot. Just enough to, to get by, I guess. Oh, an eternal Bombino. You got him, though. Now, one thing that's gonna, one thing that's really gonna make this character quite difficult, I think, and we're gonna probably have quite a hard time with, is we um, we have mods on that add some boss armor to some character, to some bosses in the late game, like the mum fight, the mum's foot fight, mum's heart, blue baby, Isaac. All of those have some some more difficulty attached to them because uh, they have some boss armor. So this guy, we might find that he really does struggle quite a bit with those fights. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, ooh, we do have Molten Coin there, which I have been known to quite like. But here's our boss already. We got you quite nicely. Good, good. The Lucky Saucer. That's going to bring us even more luck, actually. Up to 104 luck now. That's actually going to make the difference. That's actually going to make the difference. Okay, this one, we're just going to go straight for the boss. And it's an, it's an eternal boss fight with Mum, but don't worry. We got her. You did see, the, you saw the, the boss armor did make a difference. It did make a difference. It was making uh, our life a little bit harder. We'll definitely take this. I like the idea. Good. Anarchy's going to let us get multiple copies of items. It's also going to mean that all enemies we come across are randomized. Um, we'll take Tiny Terma for now. Okay, where's Pin? There we go, there's Pin. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see. Boss rush might take us a bit of time here. It might be quite difficult, but I think we'll have an okay time of it. If we if we stand right here, I think we've got the the best chance. The best chance of success, really. I'm noticing a little bit of frame drops here and there, actually, but that's just because of the character's underwhelming amount of power. Okay, this is going well so far. Should keep her going. Let's just keep her going. Oh, game didn't like that. Didn't like that one bit. Oh, God, don't crash. Calm down, game. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Certain enemies are, uh, this game's not a fan of. We do have some enemies that split, but they are getting nicely wrecked. Okay. We've got the horn up here somewhere. Where's your little ghosty friends? Taking quite the beating, aren't you, fella? Quite the beating. Probably use our stone, actually. Let's, let's place that up here just to distract them a little bit. I think that'll help quite a lot. Take some of the focus off of us. Okay. Got you two as well. Nice. Game really doesn't like it when things die. Okay. We're doing alright now. Some more eternal bosses here. A little bit of a hard time with them, but we get a little haunt. I quite like that, thank you. And we'll just hop down to the next floor. Do you remember we've got Anarchy now? So we're going to be coming across randomized enemies, which on the womb is kind of good because it helps in some regard because you're going to get some enemies that are weaker, but you could also get some that are stronger. But we are going to teleport through to the boss first and have a, have a good time of that. We haven't got any doubled items from Anarchy yet so far. Okay, we are going to have to actually do some of this floor because we didn't get the, the boss teleport we were hoping for. Do we get into the secret room for free though? Rather nice. Okay, there you go. You see the enemies are completely randomized here. Getting some really weird enemies and some <laughs> rooms that they don't really work in very well. Ooh, we got a nice immortal heart there. That's actually really, really good. We kind of needed that. 
I think we would have been kind of stuck without that, to be honest. Would have been difficult to get much further than we're going. I don't know if we're going to uh, in the right direction here. I think we are, but honestly, I'm really not sure. Okay, got a few of you. Oh, there's a lot of enemies in this room. Bit of a challenge, bit of a challenge. But we got it, we got it. But yeah, I think I think this character is going to be one of my favorite ones. Especially, like, I think doing streaks as this character could be really fun, actually. Like, doing a few, do, doing like a, just seeing how far you could get. Oh, the boss armor really hindering us here, actually. Wow, that was, that was quite tough. The boss armor really did a lot to hinder us there. That was, uh, that was a bit scary. We'll take the Eye of Belial here, because that could be quite important. In fact, we'll take this as well. Guppy Soul. And that gave us Guppy, which is kind of interesting here. Uh, we'll go down to the to the Hush fight. I don't know if we're going to be able to do Hush, but yeah. But yeah, I think doing some streaks as this character could be pretty insane. Humbling Bundle here is kind of nice. Some extra HP is pretty good, actually. And it gave us the doubled effect as well. Um, plus one familiar. Spawn a familiar when taking damage lasts for the current room. Uh, I think I'll take this, actually. We got Boiled Baby. And Obsessed Fan on Mongo Baby. There's Conjoined. Okay, Conjoined is reasonably useful. Got double the Tower of Cloth, too. Grants Brimstone and Lord of the Pit for the room. That, that could be quite helpful, actually. Oh, another Luck Upgrade as well. Okay. So let's see how we do with this. This is Eternal version of the boss. Oh, God. game. I think the, uh, the, the underwhelming power of this character. Okay, yeah. Um. Yeah, okay. Okay. We, we had a little bit of a hard time defeating you there, but I guess that's the way it goes. Do we want to go void is the question. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go void. Void sounds kind of fun, doesn't it? Let's give it a go. I was thinking about it, but yeah, I think I think doing delirium could be fun. Straight to our secret room here. Nice. Okay, let's keep pushing forward. We'll see. We might be able to kill delirium on this run. We've got some good stuff going on. Oh, vo void with um, anarchy is pretty fun. There's a lot of randomized enemies here. We'll just see when we get when when we end up getting the boss. Could be early, could be late. We'll see. First off, we got Isaac. We got fat odd mushroom from him, nice, and we get doubled fat odd mushroom as well. That gives us a little bit of extra damage, just twenty two plus. That's kind of nice. That's the sort of damage we need. My goodness. My goodness. Take out you two. There's a haunted chest there. We could try that out. I The frame rate's crazy bad. <laughs> it's not this character, by the way. It's the Apothecary on the Rocks mod. It just causes redonkulous amounts of lag. I've been testing with it. It's definitely that, definitely that mod. It just causes, like, an absolutely insane amount of lag. I'm probably going to have to disable it at least until the mod gets updated to, to fix it a little bit. Because at the minute, it's very hard to play with. Horror Babylon's rather nice, and we got two of them too. It's great to have two Horror Babylon's that aren't active. Got some floppy disks there as well. Right. Nice having flight with this guy as well, we'll say that. We just do like a little burst here and there. Takes out a good few enemies. Okay, where's some more bosses? We're lacking on the bosses. We've only found two so far. I thought we'd have found way more by now. What? I like doing that. Just firing like in different directions quickly. Oh lord. Still no more boss fights. Wow. Yeah, the void's really chunking right now. The void's really chunking. 
Especially when there's eternal enemies involved. It, it can't handle the eternal enemies at all. Right. We could get two batteries. I don't think we really need that for our active we've got right now. How are you surviving this, sir? Uh... This guy's strong, okay? This, this guy's kind of like a boss. Wow. That was a that was a tough enemy. Okay, here's two bosses. Got daddy long legs here. Hey, we got treasure map. That's kind of nice. And what item we gonna get from you? A hey, mark. So that's gonna up our damage by a nice little bit as well. Like to see it. Whoop. We're gonna get hit a little bit here, but I'm just gonna carry on powering through. And we did get Cage here. Still no Delirium. The box. Could get a nice trinket here from this. Unfortunately, nothing we really need right now. Okay, we'll leave that there, there for now. Make our way back through. And I'm imagining that's not going to be a boss up there, so let's go check. I've got a little bit more of an inkling now with Treasure Map where our bosses could be. So I'll try and play that out. Okay, that's not a boss. I kind of thought it would be, but it's not. Finish that room off real quick. Okay. Up, we'll go up until the right here. There's, there's definitely a few bosses throughout this bit. And this below is a boss here, right? Nope, it's not. Okay. Is there another enemy left in here? Wow. Oh, Lord. Hello. Oh, my God. What's going on with this enemy? He's like knocking back all my shots. Lift your head up, sir. Why won't he lift his head up? Okay, this is bad. I think Little Horn has got this guy stuck. Okay, there you go. I thought Little Horn had that guy like soft locked for us then. Oh, here's Delirium. We got him. We got him. Okay, that was that was kind of a hard fight. Kind of a difficult fight, but we got there in the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a, a pretty interesting look. At this crazy good character, Belson. What an amazing little character we got here. Just, just fantastic. I recommend this to anyone that plays Isaac Modded. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this showcase, and I'll see you guys in the next one.